When designing a new project, one usually starts with the structural design. This project is going to be a small petroleum storage facility. I select Mixmetric to be the project unit and create the project. Before I start, let me show you the new user interface in Solid Plan 3D. Completely updated and totally in compliance with SolidWorks. As you can see, all ribbons got new icons. Structure, equipment, routing, components, drawings, everything is new and looks great. First of all, I'm going to insert a 2D layout as a plot plan for this project. Based on this layout, I can position the 3D grid. The grid itself is based on the values for X, Y, and Z, which I can enter on the left-hand side. By entering multiple values, I can easily create a multi-level grid as the base of my steel structure. When the grid is done, the next step is to insert the structural members. Solid Plant offers various international standards to choose from. I can also select the profiles of the structural members as well as the sizes of the columns and beams. Then, I select the grid lines that I want to convert to 3D. If at any point I want to add any members to the structure, I just draw a line, select the standard, the profile and the size of it. If the new member doesn't fit with the rest, I just locate the profile and adjust it. Next is footing. I select the columns that need footing and choose a footing type. I enter the values for diameter and height in the dimension box and all of the footings are created according to this input. One of Solid Plant's many great features is the structural templates. These templates can all be created with just a single sketch line. For example, this flight of stairs. After the initial template appears, I have the possibility to modify all of its characteristics. All dimensions, angles, number of platforms, hand ratings, etc. I can choose the direction, the number of switchbacks, and all of this in a matter of minutes. The same principle applies for a platform. I just draw a sketch line at the end of where the platform should be, and the program will generate the 3D model. After that, I can enter variables for dimensions, support beams, and handrailing details. For a handrail, all I need to do is draw a sketch line along the center line of the beams that I want to handrail the B on. After that, I can select the height of the railings and the space between the spokes. A floor plate can be done in seconds. Just drag the point until it covers the entire area and choose the floor plate's material. If required, the floor plate's thickness can also be adjusted. Next one up is a ladder, for which I brought in a piece of equipment. The sketch line can also be drawn along a circular line, like on this tank. After the template appears, I can adjust width, length and even opt for a cage. Hand railings are also available for circular surfaces, which is perfect for equipment types like this one. Just use a tangent arc and the template appears. After that, you can modify the details. Another template that goes well with a tank like this one is the spiral stairs template. I can enter values for length, which will automatically set the angle of the stairs. And let me add another handrail for good measure. 
The last template in this video will be for a pipe rack for pipe bridge. Just a single sketch line will produce a detailed model of which all dimensions are adjustable. As a deliverable, Solid Plant offers a bill of material for a steel structure. This document will list all information regarding the 3D model materials, dimensions, properties, etc. The data can be exported to Microsoft Excel and made available for the relevant departments.